Welcome to Electron Online and here's an example of how, how to find the distance between two points on the xy plane. The two points are negative 2 and 1 and 8 and negative 7. So how do we do that? Well first of all you may want to draw an xy plane so we have a reference. If you have a visual of what's happening it makes it always a lot easier. So there's the y-axis, there's the x-axis. We're finding the point negative 2, 1. So the x-coordinate is negative 2, negative 1, negative 2 and positive 1. So that would be positive 1, that would be the point right there. And so that's the point, negative 2, 1. The second point is 8, 7, meaning 8 in the x direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And negative 7 in the y direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 7. And where those two points meet right here is the point 8, negative 7. And so now we draw a line between the two points. This is just a sketch, it doesn't have to be that accurate. At least you have a visual now of what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the distance of that line. And again, what we like to do is make that into a triangle. So if you think of this as a triangle, then you know that the length of this side is equal to the square root of the length of the square of this side plus the square of that side. In other words, the distance formula, d, is equal to the square root of the difference between the x values, x2 minus x1 squared, plus the difference between the y values, y2 minus y1 uh, quantity squared. So this is the difference in the x values, which is the length of this line, and if you square that, and then you add that to the difference between those two points in the y direction, that's the length of this line, and you square that, so you know that the, the sum of the squares of the sides equal the square of the hypotenuse, and you take the square root of both sides, that gives you the, the distance of the hypotenuse or the distance between the two points. So let me illustrate when we put in the values. Sometimes it helps to label these, so let's call this point 1, so this is x1, this is y1, this is point 2, let's call it x2 and y2. And it really doesn't matter which point you call point 1 and point 2, you can reverse those, you get exactly the same result, so you can't go wrong there. So let's plug the values in now. So d is equal to the square root of, so here we have x2, which is 8, minus x1, which is a minus 2. It's always a good idea to use parentheses so we don't make a mistake with the signs. Then we have to square that, plus y2, which is minus 7, minus y1, which is 1. And we square that as well. All right, now we'll go ahead and simplify that. So the distance is equal to the square root of, so this is 8 minus times the minus is plus. So we get 8 plus 2 squared plus minus 7 minus 1 squared. All right. Now we we'll go ahead and combine those. So the distance is equal to the square root of 10 squared plus minus 7 minus 1. That's a minus 8 squared. I use parentheses because there's a minus there. Okay, now we square both of those. So we have distance equals to the square root of 100 plus 64. So distance is equal to the square root of 164. And well, if you want to know the exact number, we're going to need a calculator. So we take 164, take the square root, and we get 12.8 approximately. So that's approximately 12.8. And that's how we find the distance between two points using the distance formula.